Y'all need to put on y'all thinking caps and stop thinking everything is cap. Because Young Thug has been suffering his whole life, but now he can finally get some good rest. For those of you that didn't know, Young Thug was living in dungeon-like conditions. His lawyer was trying to make it to where they clean up that cell and cut them lights out. Thug's lawyer filed an emergency motion in hopes of getting him released immediately on bond, which he was recently denied. Why the urgency? Well, Brian still says the YSL head honcho is being held in total isolation in a windowless cement compartment with only a bed in the toilet. He adds that the cell has an overhead light that remains on 24 hours a day, preventing Thug from getting any sleep. And that's why I got some good news for ya. They finally cut that light off in his cell. Now he's able to rest in peace. A lot of y'all clicked on the video because y'all thought he was dead. And it's so sad that he only been locked up for a couple of weeks and a lot of y'all out there already forgot about him. Fans ain't what they used to be. And that's why these rappers be kicking y'all in the face and letting y'all die at their concerts. And for you fools out there that think I said Young Thug is dead, I ain't never said he was dead. I said that he was resting in peace because they finally cut that light off in his cell. And a lot of y'all living in group homes and homeless shelters and don't know what resting in peace really is. And besides, I don't wish death on nobody. And I sincerely hope that young thug come home because they treating him like he John Gotti. And the only evidence they got against him is some wacky ass rap lyrics that a five year old can put together. Young Thug got denied bond after I was long hearing in racketeering case. Now what could they possibly be talking about for hours when it comes to Young Thug? What type of fingernail polish he like? What type of lip gloss he like putting on? He is not no criminal like that, but they trying to squeeze the juice out of this dude. Atlanta rapper Young Thug was denied bond Thursday following an hours long hearing in connection with his Fulton County racketeering case. The rapper whose real name is Jeffrey Williams pleaded not guilty during the hearing. A superior court judge ruled he must stay in jail, siding with persecutors who raised concerns about witness intimidation. How you gonna intimidate somebody and you in a cell that ain't got no windows, ain't got no nothing up in there, you ain't got no phones, how you gonna call shots and tell people to do something when they not even letting you use the phone? His lawyer trying to make sense out of the situation, but they just not trying to hear it. His attorney, Brian Steele said, Williams offered to be placed on house arrest at one of his four Atlanta area homes before a trial. And that's the reason why they ain't want him to go home because they mad that this man got four mansions. A lot of them in that courtroom ain't even got an apartment. So they just trying to keep this brother down. Still said his client was also willing to wear an ankle monitor, undergo regular drug tests, and surrender his cell phone and passport. All he would want, Still said, was access to an in-home recording studio. Let me go home and record some more music so y'all can use it against me in court and all that. What you gonna rap about in the studio when they using your rap lyrics anyways? He better get in there with T.D. Jakes and Kirk Franklin and make a gospel album or something or plead his innocence in the mixtape. That's the only sense that's gonna make. Young Thug, you gonna have to give your life to Christ, bruh. I mean, right now, you gonna have to go in there with a crucifix on your forehead like 21 Savage. Then they'll maybe reconsider giving you bond and all that. Now they ain't gonna let him get the studio, they not gonna let him go home, but like I said, he able to rest in peace cause they finally cut them lights off in his cell. Such an undertaking would likely cost Williams more than a million dollars a year, his attorney said, but it would get him out of the Cobb County jail cell where he spends more than 22 hours a day in protective custody. That cell will break a person's spirit, he said. For the second time, persecuted Don Grivy raised concerns about the safety of the state's witnesses. We have evidence and information of even more threats, he said. Our witnesses in this case are being threatened with violence, serious violence, and death. Well, stop snitching there, man. Like I said, I don't wish death on nobody, but if you signed up to be a snitch, that's what comes along with it. All them dinners at Red Lobster that the feds giving you not gonna save your life at the end of the day. Meanwhile, the judge also heard from a youth football coach who said he wouldn't be able to run his team if it weren't for Williams' generosity in the Southwest Atlantic community. The rap star 
regularly buys jerseys and clothes for the children while encouraging them to stay in school and out of trouble. But them jerseys don't be fitting, man. You got them kids running around here in tutus and all that. Got ballerina shoes on playing football, pink helmets. The purples versus the baby pinks. He should have told Young Thug to keep his money. These boys got hernias and they ain't even reached puberty yet. A lot of people look at him as a motivator, Mitchell said. We could bring hundreds of people in the community and they would tell y'all the same thing. Kevin Lau's a longtime hip hop executive who co-founded 300 and has worked closely with Young Thug for years, teared up while addressing the judge. I'm kind of emotional because how good this guy is, Lau said, who was willing to put his own property as collateral in exchange for Williams' release. He's like a son to me. Oh, y'all know Birdman ain't like that. And a lot of people thought that Young Thug did die in jail and Birdman tried to jump up in his casket. Y'all gonna have to let me know what y'all feel about this in the comment section. Do y'all want for Young Thug to come home? Cause I sincerely do. He's a good dude. He ain't out here killing people. He out here kissing people. They need to let it go and hit that cash app too. Dollar sign Sean Blake's Jocks. And for all you fools out there that thought I said that Young Thug was dead cause he got the R.I.P. on the thumbnail, y'all must ain't getting no sleep. I recommend melatonin, or maybe you need to exercise your big ass so you can lose some weight and get some rest. But thankfully, they cut them lights off in his jail cell, so at least he able to get some rest because he been up for like four, five days, no sleep, no food, no nothing, and he might be in there for a long time. So at least his conditions is a little bit better. But that's Negro here, no there. Like I said, hit that cash app, yeah. Dallas sign, Sean Blaze Docs. I'm going to holler at y'all later, though.